In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, the best things in life are free. We use this phrase in English to remind ourselves that the best things in life are free. To remind ourselves that you can buy a lot of things with money. You can buy fancy cars. You can buy large homes. If you are really, really rich, you can buy a lot of things. But the best things in life are actually free. Conversations with a friend are completely free. Um, a hug from someone is completely free. If someone gives you a compliment and says, you look really good today, or you're a really smart person and I think that that's really cool, that compliment is free. And those are some of the best things in life. So in English, when we say the best things in life are free, we're simply reminding each other that money isn't everything. I mean, it's helpful, but I do agree. The best things in life are free. The second phrase I wanted to help you learn today is the English phrase free reign. When someone gives you free reign over something, it means you are in charge of it. So at my school, I am a teacher in my classroom, but I do have a boss, but my boss gives me free reign in my classroom to teach the way I think is best. My boss doesn't tell me that I must teach a certain way. My boss gives me free reign to teach in the way that I think works well with the students I have. So when someone gives you free reign, it means they've given you complete control over the situation. Maybe at your work, you're in charge of a large project. And if your boss gives you free reign, it means you're in charge of how much you spend. You're in charge of hiring people to help on the project. It means that you are kind of a mini boss on that project. So anyways, once again, the saying, the best things in life are free, is a saying we use just to remind ourselves that we should appreciate the beautiful trees, we should, we should appreciate nature, we should appreciate the people around us because relationships and the beauty of nature are some of the best things and they're totally free. Oh, and free reign, of course, means you are in complete control of the situation. Hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Maz, and Maz says, great video, Bob. Staying up late in the long run kills off brain cells. And that's fact. Going to bed early prevents that. So getting wiser is kind of a true statement, but I'm not sure about getting wealthier. And my response was, Maz, that is very perceptive of you. I've never thought about it that way. So this is from the video where I taught the English phrase, early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. And what Maz is saying is that if you do go to bed early, it could keep your brain cells alive longer and you might actually be wiser, but it's hard to prove that going to bed earlier and getting up earlier makes you wealthier. I think that's true. I think you would need to do a large scale scientific study, Maz, in order to figure that out. But anyways, Maz, thank you so much for the comment. I did want to remind all of you that even though I don't respond to all the comments, I do read them all. And if you leave a comment, it might be the comment that I choose for the very next video. So hey, it is a crazy busy Monday night here. I barely have time to make this video, which you'll be watching on Tuesday, of course, because I have to finish editing my big video and I just got home from work and I had to go to the garage uh, to look at a vehicle because we might buy a different vehicle. We're not sure. Um, I just, I'm, my life is super busy right now, but it's all very orderly. I have my day planned out really well. So it's not overwhelming. It's certainly a day where I have a lot to do, but it's all planned very well. Oh, and I did want to go back to my response here where I said, Maz, that is very perceptive of you. When you tell someone that they are very perceptive, it means that they understand things quickly and easily. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this little lesson. I hope you're having a great Tuesday and I'll see you in a couple days with another small English lesson.